Hello, my lovely ninas. Um, welcome to Torn Talk. Uh, you're probably wondering about this. My skin needs to breathe. Um, I've been wearing makeup uh, pretty much every day. And I don't know, my skin just needs to breathe. So <laughs> I'm not putting makeup on today. I probably still have some residual from the makeup I wore yesterday. Um, but um, yeah, I just didn't feel like it. And I know we're going to do the Ipsy Glam Bag. Uh, for April today, we just did one last week. That was March's. <laughs> but April's came, um, so we'll go over that. And I thought what also might be fun is, um, you guys know, you know, we get our bag every month. And I usually generally try to use everything to see how I like it or how I don't like it, um, just because it's fun to try new things. So I grabbed a few things from uh, former bags that I've tried. Um, that I liked generally and one thing that I really didn't care for though but somebody had asked um, once I tried it to see uh, what I thought about it so I will tell you when we get to that point um, as you can see I have new scars on my face um, the day my mother called to tell me that Graham had been life flighted to Pittsburgh um, I got a terrible stress pimple and it scarred and I did not pick at it I'm of an age where I don't pick at my face, but it's still, this is one of the really bad things about being a pale girl um, or a pale human being, because I'm sure the boys have to deal with it as well. You scar. Um, and yes, I can cover it with concealer and makeup, but um, this is why I very rarely go barefaced out in the public. And you might argue that being on the internet is the public, which true, um, but I don't have to look right at your faces while you make mean faces at me. Not that my girls would, of course, but you guys know how it is out there in the big bad world. So, um, yeah, scars suck, you guys. I hate them. Um, <laughs> and you can see my eyebrow situation. There's none, right? It's just all gone here. Um, any hoodles. Uh, so let's see what we got in our April glam bag, and we can just try stuff out. Because I got a nice bare face, mostly. Um, glam bag, April, woot! Uh, so the uh, Dreamers is our thing. Um, yes, I am mirrored because if I'm going to put anything on my face, I needed to have it mirrored. Sorry, y'all. So that's our, our deal today. I got a brush, which is always good. I got a Lexi brush. It's one of the longer ones. Um, yay, brushes. Uh, so I got a brush, which is awesome. Uh, which one is it? 522. Tapered highlighter. Oh, I love highlighter, so that's lovely. Um, and our bag this month is also turquoise and orange, like last month, but it's tie-dye. Um, and there's some yellow, and yeah, I love tie-dye. Um, so what else did we get? Well, uh, we got some Moroccan treatment, Moroccan oil for all hair types. Let's see how it smells. Uh, get rid of that thing. Oh, smells good. Um, yay. I'm just going to dab a little. Oh, it's really thick. Nice. Oh, it smells lovely. I love the smell of uh, Moroccan oil stuff. It has like an earthy, um, smells nice. I'm just going to rub it on my hands. It's oil, you guys. It'll, it works. It's light. It's a light, natural scent. I like that. Um, and my hair will love it. It's oil. My hair's going to like it. We know that. Um, I got a little size Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in Wonder. Um, shall we see what color that is? Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it's smooth, which is nice. It smells minty. It tastes minty. So it's minty, which is nice. Um, yeah. That's good. Good color. It's not um, nude and it's not 
fluorescent um, or neon like last month. So that's always good. Uh, we got that glow though, which I like the product's name by a uh, trust fund. It's a highlighter. Um, let's see. This is your highlighting super secret weapon to highlight your best assets. Yay. Okay. Let's see. Maybe. Come on. Yay. All right. So that glow though, it looks like lipstick tube. Very similar. And there would be our glow. So let's see if it's light enough. Just, just for general purposes, my highlighter always goes on my cheekbones. Dab, 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 dab. Rub that in. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's effective. That gives me the shine. Um, it is a cream instead of a powder, so maybe that will be nice. Um, have a little more stain. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty good. So that's a winner for me because you guys know I love the shimmer stuff, the glow. And uh, we have Star Looks uh, Lux Longwear Eye Pencil. Mine is Jet. Um, confession, it's pre-opened because I used it yesterday. I wanted to see how well it did. Um, it's actually really, really nice. Uh, as far as eyeliners go, I tend to really favor the uh, pointy felt tip pen kind because I feel like I have better control. It's basically a marker, right? Um, and uh, these sorts uh, that spin up, I always tend to be a little messier with, or they streak really bad when I put them on. Like I don't get like a really awesome kind of coverage, I suppose, or they're a little too pearly when I want it to be a little more matte. This is not bad though. Um, I probably still have some on because I put it right up near my lash line, but we'll just, oh, this is far away. I always get right up on my mirror. I just wanted to show you. And that's almost no pressure. I know it's not a great job, but you see how easy it went on and how thick it is. And it's not like shiny. Um, this stuff's actually really good. I was kind of surprised, as a matter of fact, because um, when I opened my bag, I'm like, e nope, never mind. I liked it. So that I liked quite a bit. Um, is that everything? That's everything. Yay. I have one eyeliner on one eye. So let's talk about some of the products we've gotten previously that I really liked. Um, and then we'll talk about the one that I didn't really care for. So since we're on the topic of eyeliner, I got in this eyeliner in one of the bags, a uh, skinny and long eye pencil. Um, it's by uh, JCat Beauty, right? And it's silver, um, ash silver, actually. And this is a, you know, sharpen your pencil kind, right? And I'm like, I'm not really sure what I would do with silver eyeliner. And then yesterday I did this thick black on the top and I did silver on the bottom because I don't usually put eyeliner on the bottom and this is going to be a terrible job because I'm not close enough to be able to see. But try not to jab myself. Um, a little bit of the silver on the bottom was nice, I thought, because it gave a little definition to my lash, lash line, but it was sparkly. So... It doesn't close my eyes off as much as um, doing a straight black would because when black is all around my eyes, they just get really tiny. So uh, now I am curious um, if I get some of those because they've got some really pretty colors, like all kinds of fun colors out now um, that maybe I'll experiment and just do a color on the bottom lash line and see how that works out for me. I might like that. Uh, I don't know. Experimentation. So I actually ended up liking this quite a bit too. Um, and I found a use for silver eyeliner for myself. Um, other things we got that I have been using and really like and dropping on the floor um, is we got a like a little sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, I can't even remember which one this came in, but I'm still, I think I've used right about half of it. 
and it does not take much for a primer. I love this stuff. So the next trip to Ulta, I'm going to go ahead and buy a full size thing of the Smashbox primer. I like the Urban Decay primer for uh, my eyes when I do eyeshadow. Um, but this stuff, as far as like foundation for the face, this stuff's really, really nice. And it doesn't clog my pores and it doesn't make my face feel funky. Um, I used to bare minerals one for a long, long time. Um, but I think I like this better. It feels lighter to me. I don't know. I like that. So I'll be getting a big one of that. Uh, one of the lip colors we got was Meet Matt Hughes. Um, long lasting liquid lipstick from, uh, the balm. It's tiny, but I like the color and I really love the, the way it has good, uh, lasting power. Like my, um, like the colored rain. So, um, and it's almost the exact same, almost, almost the same color. But um, I really liked this stuff, too. Um, it stayed really, really well, and it's a little bit pink, so I'm probably going to look up and see what other colors they have because I really liked that. Um, and the other product that I use, um, you guys know I use Tarte uh, Eyebrow Mousse uh, for my eyebrows when I went to dry them in, but it does take me a little time of working with that um, to get them to look kind of okay. So for the quickie days where I just don't feel like spending the time really painting them in. Um, we received this from It Cosmetics. It's called Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. And you guys know it's, I'm pale with blonde hair. But this, again, I'm not close enough to really do a good job, but this does a decent job of drawing in eyebrows on the fast. And it's not too much, and you don't have to be as careful. Um, it's got a spoolie brush on the other side, which is, of course, always nice. But, you know, now at least I have a full eyebrow instead of a half eyebrow. And it's really, really light. So it it's okay with my hair. Like, a lot of the eyebrow things are so dark because most people have darker hair or at least darker eyebrows. And those of us with their that are naturally blonde, fair, um, have a bit more problem, but now at least it looks like I have an, a complete eyebrow. But you see, it's not like a crazy color. It works. So this is a really good one for fast, for if you just need brows fast, and I don't take the time to really paint them in with the tart. Okay, so that was a couple of the things that I'd gotten that I really liked and have continued to use, and will probably end up buying either full sizes, or um, once they run out, because this one I'm pretty sure is a full size, um, I will probably replace this. I mean, I love my tart, but this is nice for just fast and fast and dirty. Um, okay, the one thing that I've had, it's been sitting there a while, and I finally tried it. Um, washed my hair, it's day Monday. I washed my hair uh, Saturday night, and I tried the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Um, I'm sure for most people, maybe this was like a two or three, um, applicate. It's, this was a one application for me. Um, I used all of it in one go. Um, it smelled okay. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny little bit left in there that I just didn't get out. So I tried that. I was not impressed. Um, my hair's clean and I use the, you know, as far as conditioners go, I like really, really thick conditioners. This wasn't overly thick. And for a conditioning mask, I felt it should have been thicker. Um, as far as the condition of my hair, uh, it's, it's a little, uh, full, um, but it's not very soft. Usually my hair is much softer than this. And it's just, it's not very soft. I mean, it's shiny, but it, mm -mm. do you know what works better than this stuff? It's not even deep conditioning. 
Pantene, my Mark Anthony stuff, Aussie, uh, my generic Nexus Humectric, pretty much any single um, conditioner that I use on the regular works better than this supposed deep conditioning mask. So um, yeah, if something is deep conditioning, I expect it to deeply condition and this did not do that. <laughs> so color me disappointed. Um, that one I would not recommend. Uh, if you were going to go and actually like buy it for yourself, just skip it. <laughs> Cause I'm sure it's not cheap. And uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't waste my money on it. It's not deep conditioning. No, no repair, none of that stuff. Just go ahead and buy a regular conditioner and just leave it on your hair for a long period of time for, I don't know, 10, 10 minutes to 30 minutes and then rinse it. There you go. There's your deep conditioning. So any hoodles, um, that was it for today. Uh, we got some glow though. Uh, and my one eye, one eye has, uh, really terribly applied, uh, eyeliner on it, but that's okay. Um, cause I'm just going to go and wash it off my face and then have a nice clean face for today and just let it breathe. Um, maybe my skin will feel a little better. I'll moisturize, but I'm just going to leave it go. So, um, yay. Woot. All righty. Uh, so that should be it for me from me for today. Uh, we are at almost 17 minutes and I was trying to keep these shorter. So I will shut up and I will see you tomorrow. Um, with a face on, I'll put a face on tomorrow. So yeah, that'll be nice. Okay. Um, I'll see you then. Love you guys. Bye.